This week on the Z2 Sports Report, we review over this weekend's matchup, we attend Men's and Women's Basketball Media Day, and we highlight the UA tennis team. All that and more on the Z2 Sports Report, which starts right now. Welcome to this week's edition of the ZTV Sports Report, your home for everything Akron Zips Athletics. I'm Sartaj Ojala. Let's get this show on the road with a look at this past weekend's matchups. Volleyball starts us off as our Lady Zips faced a fierce Central Michigan team. Our Zips were able to take the first set, but unfortunately lost the following three to fall to the Chippewas, one set to three. Let's now check with our Lady Zips in women's soccer and how they fared against on the road against Western Michigan. Our Zips tried to stay aggressive with many shot attempts. However, the Zips were unable to spark anything on offense and were handed a tough loss, 0-3. Kelly De Niro led the Zips in three shot attempts. Zips football were coming off a much-needed win against Miami of Ohio last week and presented a big challenge when 7-1 Ball State team came to Infocision Stadium to challenge the Zips' resolve. Head coach Terry Bowden would bring his team onto the field to try and post his first back-to-back -back wins as Akron's football head coach. Ball State would come out of the gates rolling as quarterback Keith Wending was able to throw a fade and connect with wide receiver Willie Sneed for the easy touchdown to take the lead. But the Zips defense would stray strong and provide much needed pressure on Wending. Zips running back Jawan Chisholm would certainly have a huge field day in the matchup as the Cardinals defense was unable to contain him for majority of the game, letting him get better acquainted with the end zone, which would greatly uplift the hopes for many fans. The Zips would continue to rely on Chisholm's huge performance for a great part of the game, finding easy looks and taking a part of the Ball State Cardinals defense. Even Kyle Pohl would catch running back Fever, and he would run into the end zone with his very own touchdown. Unfortunately, the huge spark in the running game would prove to be futile as the Zips defense was unable to contain the Cardinals offense. The Zips losing this one, 42-24. Jawan Chisholm would finish the game with 166 yards on 26 carries and a touchdown. Dylan Evans would finish huge defensively with 13 tackles, a sack, and a forced fumble. Our men's soccer team certainly has had a story through 2013 season, but however, have showed resolve when facing adversity. They would prove this resolve when the Northern Illinois Huskies came to town. Senior night kicked off the game as many of the Akron Zips seniors were honored for their work with the team. Akron would rally together to try and put up another impressive performance on the field. However, the Huskies would definitely prove to be formidable, but the Zips would expose the Deer defense and with a goal by Adam Najim, which definitely riled up the many fans in attendance at First Energy Cub Cadet Field. The game would continue with both teams aggressively attacking on shots, and NIU was able to get a goal in the game to tie. The Zips would try to respond back with shots of their own, but Northern Illinois would solidify their defense and were able to go into halftime with a score tied 1-1. Coming out of the gate, the Zips would continue to execute their game plan and would eventually capitalize on a shot made by Robbie Dershang, which would give the Akron the lead 2-1. And eventually would keep the Zips' spirits high, as the Zips were able to cruise to the win over the Huskies 2-1. Akron's swimming and diving team is coming in a whole different team this season under new head coach Brian Perez. Our own Jeannie McBride was able to catch up with the coach and find out what's in the water for the team. The University of Akron swimming and diving team is sure making a splash this season. With new head coach Brian Perez, it seems that the team is changing for the better. It looks like his passion for swimming and his newfound love for Akron will take his team to new lengths. I love it here. Uh, this is a great university. Great program. I feel like we get great support from the community, from the administration. Uh, the team has been wonderful to work with, and I really enjoy being part of the staff. We decided to switch those to the morning. That gives them a little bit more time between weights on Tuesday and Thursday mornings before uh, heading over to the pool in the afternoon for swim practice. So I think we've got a little bit of a different balance that's going to be very beneficial uh, to their performances this year. Aside from the coach's perspective, senior Kendra Colby is excited for the new season as well. With new workouts, more practices, and guidance under a new coach, she thinks these different strokes will help lead her team in the MAC. We do a little bit more med balls, running stairs, uh, a lot more pull-ups than we've done in the past um, in practices. We separate but, you know, with sprint and mid-distance and distance like we've done before, but we just do a lot of different things. I think we work on technique a lot more than we ever have before. So. 
everybody's been looking great so far. They bring a lot of energy to training, to the competitions that we've had. They brought a lot of energy as well. I feel like they're a very passionate, very excited group, and uh, I think they're going to do really well this year. It seems that there will be much to talk about in the future regarding Akron swim team. Zips fans should be excited for the season to start, but until then, just keep swimming. I'm Jeannie McBride for the ZTV Sports Report, and now back to Sartaj in studio. That's one segment in the books, but do not move from your seat. We will still have men's and women's basketball media day and another edition of Zips Trivia when we come back. And trust me, you do not want to miss it. Don't go away. You are watching the ZTV Sports Report. We'll be right back.